G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome to Subnautica, a new series on the channel. Uh, before I get into it, I have played a fair bit of Subnautica before, so I know the basics on how to survive and stuff, but that was over a year ago, and the game has been updated extensively with a bunch of new content, and has actually been officially released from Early Access on Steam. And I never got very far in the story anyway. I just sort of survived and did my own thing, like built my bases and got all the vehicles and that sort of stuff. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Start a new game. Uh, freedom, hardcore. Uh, I think we'll just go with survival. Okay, so after a very long loading screen, uh, I can just tap any button to continue and we'll get into the game. Let's do it. I remember this part, of course. There's our ship. Pretty sure we get knocked out. Why can I like see my neck like that? That's sort of weird. They help, and there it is. Knocked out. Could have been worse, I guess. Press F8 to report bugs and give feedback. Alright, let's get this fire out. Come on, we don't want to choke. Put it out! Oh, well, that was easy. And we've got our little tablet thing. That sounded like glass, actually. Altera. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This yeah. EDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Thanks, homie. Uh, what do we do here? One. Ah, oh, okay. That's just to um, like change my stuff. Well, I got my little storage thing here. Oh, I've got some food and water. Uh, looks like I'm I'm at 48 of 100, so I won't eat these yet. But I'll put the fire extinguisher in there because I don't think we need that. I've uh, got a med kit. Uh, I guess I'll use this, get the rest of my health back. And don't think there's anything else to use, so let's climb out of the pod. And that's the Aurora. Our, uh... The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Oh god, you'd think at least one person would survive. That's a huge ship. But anyway, let's go back down here and jump in the water. Here we go. Oh, that was a weird sound. Oh, get our first. Yeah, our first fish. Can eat that guy later. Always start off by getting some mushrooms. I, I remember that much. It was like a meme. Like every single person who starts up some Nordic, the first thing they do is uh, pick the pick that stuff up. Yeah. I know this guy gives me water. Oh shit! Oh, I remember these guys too. Yeah, they damaged me a bit. That that wasn't so bad. Oh my god, there's another one! Ah! Oh, well, we, we didn't lose too much health, and we've got a, uh, a medkit thing there, so that's not too bad. And we get sulfur from that. Apparently, get another fish, another fish, another one. Now, I, I can't remember if they, like, go off whilst they're sitting in my inventory. Creature. What's this? Unidentified egg. 
Well, let's keep it. Oh, quartz. I know I need that for glass. Uh, oh, I'm almost out of oxygen, actually. Pick that up. Ah, yes. Right, I need to build the tool so I can, um... Get the stuff fixed in here. So what's the plan? Ah, oh, and I'll cook some of this uh, stuff as well. Go for the boomerang, I guess. And the peeper. I know I need the bladder fish for water, so. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Cool. Well, let's put this stuff in here. Oh, I've got another peeper. Yeah, I don't know if it will, like, go off whilst it's in my inventory. I hope that's not the case. Yeah, what do I need for this tool? Uh, I need the repair tool. Which one? This one. So I need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. How do I get silicone rubber? Is it in here somewhere? Uh, not electron. Ah, oh, here it is. Creep vine seek. Ah, oh, remember that stuff. But yeah, it's the the glowing yellow things. Uh, but yeah, whilst I'm swimming over there, uh, I would typically upload like a a green hell video in between like the other series I I was doing. So I'm like doing Wolfenstein. So I go Wolfenstein, then Green Hell, Wolfenstein. Uh, green hell, uh, etc. Or uh, a different game and then a green hell video. Um, but yeah, the, it's uh, replaced with Subnautica today. But if anyone want uh, in the comments, just let me know if you want to still have green hell videos because I'm still enjoying that game. Is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your of oh shit. Just to the Get away you bastard. God, they... Why do they explode? I don't get that. Yeah, we get some more safe... Oh my god, there's another one. Then wait... Oh shit, I gotta swim up. Come on, buddy. Alright, so I really sh uh, want to get the... Uh, the increased oxygen tank as soon as I can so I don't drown. Uh, got this cave sulfur, more titanium there. Oh my god, there's a third! Ooh, he hurt. Ooh, that one really hurt. Yeah, my, my guy sounded like he was in a fair bit of pain there. Reasonably so, I would say. Now let's pick that up. These fish are just sort of randomly swimming around. Oxygen. Gotta swim up yet again. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is... Uh, do you guys want to see me like swimming around and like picking up these resources like I am now? Or do you want to just see like more exciting gameplay moments? Like I'm... Uh, f so this, I guess you could say this first video is like a bit experimental and yeah I remember I remember these guys the stalkers see I'm so weird because I'm like fairly afraid of the ocean and like sharks and all that stuff um, but these those guys like don't phase me at all like I'm not scared of those guys at all and I remember the sand sharks those guys can like jump scare you from time to time but uh, like, if they're next to me, just like that stalker was, I'm not phased by it, but... Uh, the bloody, like, snakes and spiders in green hell scare the shit out of me. Uh, I don't know how my brain is, like, wired that way, but that's just how it is, I guess. I don't think you can really explain something like that. Yeah, what do we got here? We've got to make the rubber. Oh, he can make lubricant with it as well. And we've almost actually got our repair tool here. Oh, I can make fins as well. I'll make those so I can swim a bit faster. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. 
Fair enough. What if I just go into the console command, huh? Alright, so let's put that on one. And let's start repairing some stuff. Ooh. Get a little uh, bloody sh lightning shock there from that. Oh, that's so good. Oh, the smoke is like going out of the pod and stuff. That's cool. How about this one? Oh, yes! We can get like life pod signals from this. That's right. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a lot of hours. Uh, Alright, so what have we got here? We've got to make the filtered water with black. Ooh, I saw a new water thing. Disinfected water with bleach. Microorganism free. Yeah, you'd. Non vegetarian. <laughs> oh boy. Cooked whole fish. Let's cook that boy up. Alright, so, a little low on water, so that gives me 20. Alright, so we're looking pretty good right now. Uh, I think that those things expire. The, uh, whatever that thing's called, the, the seed clusters, so I will uh, craft some stuff uh, with them, so I don't have that problem. And put them in the uh, storage thing. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Yes, I do remember that. All right, so let's go to this one here and dump all of our stuff. Uh, the sulfur, that, uh, the rubber. Uh, what do I? What can I use the copper ore for? Yeah, like, do you guys want to see me figuring this sort of stuff out, or, or just, like, exploring the ocean, or... Yeah, like, what sort of gameplay do you... Ooh, wait, sea glide. Uh, waterproof locker for more storage, I guess. And we've got a bunch of batteries. How do I make a battery? Electronics. Oh, I need mushrooms. Well, I've got a few of those. Uh, there. Might as well just put them all in my inventory. And let's make a battery and get ourselves a scanner. And that gave us a blueprint for power suit. Cool, I can, I can start scanning stuff now. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Okay, well I want the knife as well. And I've got some... Uh, I need I need titanium for that, so let's go get some. Oh, it's dark now. Got it. Got it went dark quick. That doesn't matter. Oh, what's? Oh, I can scan this. Indigenous life forms, table coral. What about the mushroom? All right, cool. Uh, and this thing, sea glide fragment, right? That's the little uh, thing we can use to get around faster. Oh, I can self scan as well, and I gotta get up to the surface. There we go, we're safe. Oh, what else can I scan? And yeah, that's another thing. Do, do you guys want to see this, like me scanning stuff, or just? Like, I, I honestly don't know, so yeah, like I said, this uh, video will be a little more on the exper experimental side. Just to see like what sort of gameplay you guys want uh, in regards to Subnautica. So let's go back up here. Um, and we can make some titanium with the metal salvage. And what was the tool I was about to have? Oh, the O2 tank. Awesome. Great. So that upgrades my 
stuff. Oh, the knife. That's right. Awesome. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Yeah, I'm pretty sure around the development of this game they were going to have like some sort of uh, guns in it, but there was a mass shooting somewhere and they decided to like remove guns from the game or something. I don't know, know the full story on that one though. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during ah. planet fall. Okay, well let's make some water real quick. And I guess I go and scan some more star. Oh, and I'll put the peeper in here as well. And the wire. So I've just got my three tools. Now, is it daytime yet? Not quite. But damn, look at that. Multiple moons here. Got a, oh, maybe that's another planet. I don't know. It's sort of moving fast, but... Uh, which way to go first? Um, I don't have a compass. Compass would be nice for navigation, but let's just go this way. Go for the uh, dive in there. And we can swim for longer now, so that's great. Get some more titanium there. Oh, and I, I can scan these guys now too. I'll pick him up, because you can never run too short on uh, water or food. Scan this guy. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I remember that. They're not, uh, they're not aggressive, but if you go near them, then they'll let you know that they don't want you around. It's like a defense mechanism to just shit. Oh, always found that sort of amusing, but... Got another... Oh, these guys! Yeah, they f make stuff float. Dude. I remember the soundtrack too, it's so nice. Da, da, da. Got another fish here, I'm almost out of breath, but let's go up now. Come on! Ah, right, we're fine. Alright, well, yeah, let's just go off on this direction. Let's see what we find. Oh, got another... Oh, the egg! From before. Can I scan it? No, I can't. A limestone chunk. So, get that. Oh, I can scan this guy too. Shuttle bug. God, he sounds different. That's a, that's a new sound. Oh, I can't scan the quartz either. Um... Oh, stalker down there, but we don't care about him. Oh yes, I can get creep vine clusters. Oh yeah, you spin that knife around. Let's do it. Alright, oh, got a bunch of samples, so let's go back to the life pod. Oh, <laughs> that guy. That guy farting again. Um, I wonder if you swim faster with or without something in your hands. We're almost there, we'll make it. We don't need to go up full uh, air. Okay, so what do I have here? I've got these... This is considered old? What the hell? I only just picked that up. Fiber mesh. Make that one. I don't know what else it can be used for. Um, ooh. Two glass, titanium, and silver. Where would I get silver? Pathfinder tool. Holographic Pathfinder discs used to map away back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. So it's sort of like um, Perseus's. Um, what what was that called? Uh, with the Minotaur, Perse he had like the golden string or something to lead him out of the cave. That's sort of like that, I suppose. Make some glass. And more titanium. So I need to find silver or some. Oh, what's this? Deployables. Oh, the, just for the locker, so I don't need to worry about that. What about equipment? Any pipes? Floating air pump? 
Okay, so I need one more glass and silver ore. Well, for now, let's put our stuff... God, decomposing... Ah, I'll just eat that, screw it. Alright, so let's put this stuff in there. Oh, it's almost full. It is full. I'll drink this water. Well, let's go back out and look for silver, I suppose. I have no idea where any is, but... Yeah, let's do it anyway. And scan this stuff along the way. Cool, he's fast. Don't want to get Steve Irwin, so I'll stay away from that guy. Oh shit! Run away! Oh, I dodged that one. Damn. God, those guys are so annoying. They're so fast. Can I break it? Oh, sweet, I can. Get some more quartz. No doubt there'll be more of those bloody guys. I wonder if I can scan them. I can scan that one over there. Oh my god. Oh, he went the other way. Oh my god, you can scan them. How? How are you supposed to... Sulfur plant. Oh, I'm almost out of oxygen. Oh, I want to scan it and get out. Oh, oh no, I'm going to drown. Oh, please. Oh no, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, God. I thought I was doomed there. I was like, oh, I'm go not going to make it out of the cave, but... No, we did it. God, I just want to get some silver ore. I've barely left my life board and I'm like already struggling to survive. Uh, where to go here? Where to go? Oh, some barnacles. I'm not really sure what to look out for here. Uh, well, I may as well pick the fish up, pick that guy up, just f for some more food and water for later. Got another guy here, Boomerang, I think this one is. Oh, he's fast. He had a quick burst of speed there. Got anything down here? Some quartz. Oh, another one of these things. I'll break this. So annoying. Come on. Oh, well, I guess I can't break that one. Almost out of oxygen again, but I know there's an opening up there. So I'll scan this. Oh, well, I've got to go, actually. I don't want to drown. I think I'll actually head back to the life pod. Oh god, I didn't, I didn't put my uh, self above water there. All right, good. Oh, and I've got another radio message too. This is life pod three, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Ah, okay. Well, that's... That is new for me. Uh, last time I played, there were no, like, voice actors, apart from the uh, robot lady on the who, like, talks to you. Uh, so, yeah, I guess in... Uh, I'll end this one here, and in the next one, we'll go find out, like, what's happened with this life pod. I'm, I'm pretty keen for that, to find out the story of the game, and see what happens. But anyway, peace in the Middle East, and I'll see you in the next video.